Hi, so today is October 13th, 2015, and today we are, the weather here in the South Bay is going to be 92 degrees. Can somebody tell me why in mid-October the weather, the temperature is going to be 92, 92 degrees? It um, sort of has me fathom, so I didn't know what to wear, so I'm wearing actually a summer dress. So why I'm a bit perturbed with the hot weather is... Um, when I turned uh, 40, um, I used to have asthma before, um, but um, when, I'm, when I lived in England, well, that's because of the damp weather and so forth, but when I turned 40, um, I starting, it started coming back up again. My asthma sort of came back, and so today, in the heat today, it, it, well, yesterday, it was dry heat, and so I got an asthma attack, and I thought, oh, my God, that's why I'm a bit annoyed that it's going to be dry heat again today because it's the fall and oh, it just plays havoc with my chest just don't need need it but but i you know but yeah it's the weirdest thing you know I, I, what i've realized every decade right um obviously your body changes nobody prepares you that oh it's gonna it takes a couple of years for you to get into that decade and then by the time you've got everything going and you're good then you're you know you're into another decade and you have to go through the whole system again i mean that's the way my body's been working so so now like this happened when like, a couple of years ago but now i sort of got it in order i know okay it's already hot i know that i need to take the inhalers so i already prepared and so i'll be okay but uh, whereas two years ago, if this would have happened, I would have been like gasping for air, ended up in the emergency room. It happened like three or four times, uh, you know, in like like a six month period because I didn't know how to deal with it. I just thought, oh my God, that's it, the end of the world. I'm never going to breathe again. But, you know, you, you figure it out as you um, go through it. So now I'm actually more prepared. I know exactly what I need to do. And it's so funny before I even travel anywhere, the first thing I make sure I have my and, you know my epi pens and everything because now i have food allergies too never in my life did i have food allergies but now i have food allergies too so i made sure that i am prepared when i go on vacation that i do not you know i know what to do straight away and the kids know or my husband knows and i have it easy access so if i need to get hold of it it's just right there so so yeah that's that's sorted that out but, oh, but oh, i know the lighting is all shadows of the morning but i must go gotta drive this is going in the vlog what vlogs, vlogs, why is vlogs. this being recorded so me and amy are gonna go get lunch oh my back so i've pulled my back out but this girl decides to break like a I flipping thought, maniac! I thought he was gonna go! Well, obviously he did and he braked! And then you yeah, braked heavily! Like at the very end, <coughs> there's. So there was so much. So apparently, I have a pinched nerve, oh. and so my, I have a muscle spasms going on. Listen to me, she was abrasive until I had to stop. Oh, yeah, of course, it's always the other person's fault. Like, they're going to be Uh, what I did want her to just go and pick up food for me, but I'm not allowed. To, I had to go with her. I didn't know what you wanted, and you are a very specific eater. I don't even know about like Rubios. Well, we're gonna go inside and see if anything. I've had there. Rubios before, and I, I just think they're okay. Then why did you say yes? Well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. You're not you're a gonna, beggar. You're gonna go out and. Oh, you know, I, McDonald's. There's Taco Bell. Do you think, when was the last time I had Taco Bell? Can you, can you please explain? I'll have Taco Bell for you. You're not allowed to have Taco Bell. Now I'm getting Rubio's. Why did you say you have Taco Bell for me? It was a joke. A joke talk. Taco Bell, I just like you. Okay, I'm sorry. It's all Taco Bell. Ow. Ow. Meow. Meow. Ow. My back. In this fish? Fish. <laughs> Seriously, something wrong with that kid. Oh no! What? Look at what they did. Oh. 
What do they do? It's going to be one lane. How long for? They only do it in the middle of the day, like the most inconvenient time. You should do I'm it at thinking. night. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, when we're asleep and they have to wake up to work. Not even that. It's like only here from like 1 to 5 or something. Or like 12 to 5 or like right in the center of okay. the Okay, so it's normally a two lane. No, they cut off three. They turn off the, t the turn lane too. This is all three lanes in one. Oh, so the turn line and the two go forward. Numbers. Yeah, so this is what she's complaining about. She's good at complaining. That's a valid reason to be. Amy, why are you complaining? I don't like the new song. Why are you complaining? Mom, this is like the next song on the playlist. Why are you complaining? See, yeah. You like it, don't even. I do. I got all these songs from you. Oh, God, but back in the day, I mean, I still have them on my playlist. Yeah. I mean. My play playlist is the bomb. I like the older songs. The new songs aren't that good. Don't say that. Some new songs are really good. Yeah, some of them, but I haven't found them yet. So she likes this song. I don't know. It says no festival parking. Yeah, that's why I asked. Amy, why do you like this song? I don't know. It's catchy, I guess. Don't even. Don't even. You're not getting it. Where's your ring? Why is there a pop-up hand on top of you? It's really tight. It cuts off circulation from my wrist. Why do you have so many rubber bands in you? I have one. That's a thinner one. That's two. I need a thick one and a thin one. Emergency. Emergency. Or in case I need to lend one to someone. I also have to spare one in my car because people take them all the time. You're a weird freaky child. So we're at Paris Baguette. So I want some thing to eat. Amy, what are you gonna get? Amy, I'm gonna get one of those chocolate sticks right here. Isn't that cute? She's taking me off. What are we gonna get? Should we eat here or should we just take it home? Let's take it home. I'm good with home. Will you make me tea too? Oh, she's gonna make me tea when I get home. The best. Oh, can I also get a slice of chocolate cake? To go. To go. Thank you, Amy. Oh, you're actually putting out your own menu? Oh. Thank you, Amy. This place is called R&R's Roots and Rye. So, it's meant to be like American cuisine, so we're going to try it out. Let's see how it goes. I can't have a cocktail today because I'm on uh, pain medication for my back, so I'm just going to get a drink. Um, a, Virgin drink and some appetizers. Do you want to just do appetizers? Let's figure it out. Pretty good, isn't it? The violin player. What have you got there? Cupcakes. Let me see. Kira's cupcakes? Yep. Just had dinner at Roots and Rye. I don't really care for it that much, I'll be honest. We've got cupcakes. Oh, do you want to get Starbucks or should we just make tea at home? Always make it. If we're at home, we make tea at home. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Are you gonna make it for me? Yeah. Let's see. Thank you. 